Hello, my friend, Kathy here, and welcome back to Cinderella Phenomenon. Before we begin, don't forget to comment, leave a like, hit subscribe button with a tongue, because why not? And let's jump into the episode! Hooray! Now, what were we doing? Uh, I haven't played this game in a while, thanks to, of course, the long works of homework and uh, various different tests and quizzes I've had to take in college. But don't worry, people, I have found the time to do videos. So, yeah. I mean, there will be some days where I won't do it. And for some odd reason, Monday and Sunday have become those two days where I may not have anything available. Which is really weird because I thought it would be Saturday and Sunday, but not. I guess not. It's, I guess, Sunday and Monday, so. Eh. So, for you to be ahead of the game. Yeah, we don't we don't care about this guy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Lucette. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to change your name. Oh, if I sound a little bit sick, that is my seasonal allergies talking, of course. Uh, and by seasonal allergies talking, I mean like I have seasonal allergies. So whatever, spring and summer come, and there's dust everywhere and pollen everywhere. My nose gets stuffy, and then I think I'm sick. Because, you know, my throat's a little bit itchy, my eyes are itchy, my nose is leaking a little bit, I think I'm sick, but then my, but then I remember, wait, it's summertime, it's springtime, or springtime, and that means i either sick for some odd reason in summer, which, to be honest, hasn't happened to me before, or, or, just saying, or, I have allergies. So, it's my allergies talking at the moment, guys. Uh, okay, so who do I ask for help? Uh, since we're going for waltz. He was just here earlier. Maybe he went back inside. I don't remember your names. Your voice name. Your voices that I gave you. Oh, bubbles! I stop and stare at the small orbs of light floating around the room. What is going on? Ah, no. This isn't it. Hello? I watch in awe as Walt snaps his fingers and all of the orbs disappear into with a pop. Oh, princess! You just notice I'm here? What are you doing? Practicing my next magic trick. I still haven't perfected it. H how come you are able to use magic? Are you a witch? A fairy? A good magician never reveals his secrets. Right. Do you need anything? I take a deep breath. Can you... Can you teach me about goodness? Please? Huh? Why do you look so surprised? I'm talking to you, punk! Well, it's just that I don't think you can come to me for help. If you don't want to... No, no, that's not it at all. So what is it? I'm happy you asked me. What would you like to know about goodness? Everything, obviously. How do you do a good... How do you do a good deed? That that almost... <laughs> that confused me a little bit for a little bit. Ah, words! Okay, I got it. Brain's working again. That is a very broad question. I don't think I could give you a specific example. Then how do I do good? I, I need answers... I need answers. The easiest way to do good is to make someone happy. That doesn't help me at all. Does this look like the face of happiness? So a good deed would involve making someone happy. How do I do that? Uh, by brushing more. By brushing more of the floor. Maybe someone will be happy that you brushed the floor. Just say. Alright, let's go back to Walt again. Hopefully, hopefully he helps me. I find Walt sitting in the corner of the tavern reading a book. You don't strike me as the kind of person that would read books. I'm going to take that as a compliment. Though, to be honest, I wouldn't be reading this if I wasn't preparing for one of my shows. Shows? I don't just do magic shows. I perform puppet shows as well. I have to be familiar with several bedline stories for these. For those. You should come with me sometimes. The children are always so happy at the shows. You might 
get one of your good deeds helping out. I have never been around children for extended amounts of time. <laughs> Girl! <laughs> but you're a princess! Okay, just continue. You've got to be patient, too. Children can be difficult to handle. That depends on what age. You speak as if you aren't a child yourself. That's because I am not a child. Waltz hates it when he when he's treated like a child. Especially when Karma teases him about it. Besides, patience isn't just for children. It's necessary in a lot of situations. That depends how patient is the person. I would guess you might need to work on that. Excuse me? Walt shrugs and with an awkward smile returns to his book. Just because she's stubborn doesn't mean you could say she's not patient. We can be stubborn and patient. That's what I am. I'm a stubborn and patient person. What do you make of that? Huh, Walt? A month has passed. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, we already read that. Okay, skip, please. Thank you very much. Okay, we had a dream. Okay, which choice? Alright, so this time we're going for... Where's Waltz? Here you go, boy. Peter Pan! Woo! So let's just save that here. Yes, or write it. I decide that I cannot waste any more time. The next day, I search for Waltz as soon as the broom stops dragging me around. I swear he was just here a while ago. Anise, have you seen Waltz? Oh, I just saw him out there. Oh, I just saw him walking back inside. Okay. I find him talking with Parfait and Delora in the reception area. All of them are speaking in solemn whispers. As soon as Parfait and Delora notice me, they break off their conversation with Waltz. Both the witch and the fairy step away from Waltz. <laughs> Excuse us, princess. Wow, as soon as I enter the room. Oh, gosh, come on, guys. You don't have to act so shady, okay? I watch curiously as Delora and Parfait leave the room without another word to me. What were they talking about? I don't know, magic? Waltz turns in my direction and smiles. Morning, princess! I turn towards Waltz and watch as he begins to put some puppets on the table into a box. Are these toys yours? These? They're for a show I'm doing later. I wouldn't be playing with these things at my age. You look 12! I do not see how that is too old to be playing with dolls. What? Don't look at me like that. I told you before, didn't I? I have the Neverland curse. You never explained what his curse was. I'm actually older than you are. I find that hard to believe. You don't know the story of Peter Pan, do you? Does it look like I know? It is not my fault that Mother had all the fairy tales removed from the palace. When I do not answer Walt, when I do not answer, Walt only sighs and gives me a small smile. I'll assume that's a yes. Peter Pan is the boy who lives in Neverland. It's a place where no one ever grows up. I'm stuck in a child's body as a result of my curse. I won't revert to my, to my real form until my curse is broken. Okay. I think we've seen that once. I don't remember. Then how old are you really? I'm 22 this year. I think you're younger than Chewy. What? I can only stare in shock at Walt's childish appearance. It is hard to believe that he is actually older than I am. I've never liked me treated as a child. That's never changed. Even when I was a child, I didn't like it. But let me assure you that it is much more annoying being treated like a child by someone who's younger than you. Walt straightens with the box in his arms. Now, if my princess will excuse me, he turns to leave. Where are you going? I have a show to do today. 
Walt does so many puppet show, puppet and magic shows. How will he help me break my curse? What if he's never around? I'll go with you. What? I might accomplish a good deed if I come to one of your shows. That's true, but what size? I'm not sure that's a good idea. There are bad witches out there. Oh, there is an evil witch right here in the Martian, but no one is protecting me from her. Are you talking about Delora? Who else would I be referring to? Walt stares at me for a long moment. Eyes thoughtful. He sets the box down on the table again. Don't go anywhere. I'll ask Lady Parfait first. I don't need permission. I can go on my own just fine. He leaves the room. I lean over the box on the table and see a pile of carefully decorated puppets. Everything looks handmade. I used to sew my own puppets before Mother found out and forbade me from making them. You made puppets? Since when did you make puppets? She told me that sewing was not something a crown princess should do. Interested? Uh, no, put it down. Once footsteps are so soft that I do not even notice that he has returned to the room until I see him standing before me, I step away from the box. How does he move so quietly? Tiptoe. Tiptoe, that's how. Permission granted. Come on. The show starts in an hour. Alright, let's go. I watch as Walt sets up a small booth on the streets where I'd first seen him with Emma. Back then, I never thought I would see him again. It's nice to see you actively try to break your curse. I shrug. I am not convinced this will work. But Parfait said if I partnered up with someone, I might be able to break my curse faster. Yes, you could partner up with the girl. But I guess all the guys got, of course, the curses. What does that say? So you chose to partner with me. I could, I could choose with Chewie or Karma or Rod or that other guy, Fitz. His tone of voice startles me. He sounds both happy and sad. Was he lying when he said he wanted to help me? That everyone in the Martian was willing to help me? Would you rather I pick someone else? No! Oh, now he's not defensive. Okay, don't yell at me. I jump at a sudden reaction. <laughs> Walt awkwardly clears his throat. Voice. No, I. I'll do everything I can to help you. Okay, we know. Walt's heads for the back of the booth. I begin to follow him, but am forced to stop when he holds out his hand. You haven't had enough training to be my personal assistant yet, princess. What? I stare at him, puzzled. I never said I wanted to be your personal assistant. And training? Why would one need training to assist with a children's show? You might just be able to snag a good deal if you agree to become my assistant, you know. Does it look like I want to be your assistant, boy? There is a t teasing twinkle in Walt's eyes as he waves me off. But until you're ready, you should stay with the children and just watch the show. I think you'll enjoy this story. I recommend getting a place up front. You'll be able to see all the action that way. Really? When I do not move, Walt sighs and smiles at me. I promise the children will bite you unless you bite them first. Ah, <laughs> oh, so true. So true. Lucette, don't bite them, please. Fine. That's my star. Star? He disappears around the back, leaving me alone. In no time at all, people began to gather. Soon there is an impressive audience around Walt's small booth. I look at the group of... At I look at the group of children that are clustered as close as possible to the front. They are all clearly excited for the start, for the show to start. I used to do puppet shows with my dolls too. I felt less alone when I pretended my dolls could talk. Oh, my poor girl! And I am still alone. Nothing has changed. Girl, you're not alone. I'm right here. 
Oh, wait, you can't see me. Never mind. I sigh as I sidestep to allow someone else to stand besides me. I am surprised to see that the person is an adult. I look out at the gathering cloud of people and find that there is an almost equal ratio of children to adults. Why would adults be at something as childish as a puppet show? Girl, you just admitted that you like dolls and you like puppetry. Don't you dare be judging them, too. Hello, everyone. An excited silence falls over the area. Walt's voice raises, rises above the crowd. I, Walt, am here once again to share another story with you. I hope you enjoyed the show. Once upon a time, there was a village whose people were always happy. But one day, an evil witch found the village. The evil witch carried darkness deep in her heart. She was jealous of the townsfolk, who were filled with so much light and happiness. <clears throat> if I cannot be happy, the evil witch said, then no one can be happy, like many people always say. How overly dramatic. I almost jump when I feel a tug on my dress. I look down to see a little boy pulling at the hem of my skirt through his eyes remain focused on the puppets. I don't like her. That witch, she's bad. His grip on my skirt tightens. He's wriggling my dress. Leave him alone. Remove his... <laughs> Girl, you, you gotta leave him alone. He's scared. He's scared. He's a scared little boy. Walt's better finish his show before this child ruins my dress. <laughs> Darkness spreads over the village. The people begin to suffer. They forget what happiness felt like. One villager decides to leave and find a good witch that would help save everyone from the evil witch. The village, This villager knew it would be very dangerous, for if he were discovered, the evil witch would certainly kill him and his family. Yeah, that's overly dramatic. But the man knew he had to try if he ever wanted to see the other villagers smile again. Many days later, the man finally returned with the good witch, whose heart was filled with light as the evil witch just was filled with darkness. The good witch, unable to bear the sight of the villagers suffering, decided to help them. She cast a powerful spell that would send the evil witch away and save the village at the cost of her own life. Once the spell was cast, the darkness disappeared from the village. To this day, the people of the village are said to carry the good witch's light within them, and everyone lived happily ever after. Except for the good witch, because she died. But aren't all witches evil? That's simply not true. I met a good witch, one with a heart more light and loving than any fairies. More of the children began to ask questions. I sigh, unable to do anything except wait while Walt is bombarded with questions. Once the audience finally leaves, Walt comes out from behind the booth and smiles up at me. The show was a success! Great! Now, what can you do about, about the dress? Because it's wrinkled now, thanks to you. I suppose so. You look really annoyed when that little boy grabbed your dress. That's because I was. You should have taken his hand. Why? He looked frightened. I'm sure he would have never appreciated some comfort. He would have appreciated... He would have... What? <laughs> no! He doesn't need comfort. He needs to go to his mother or father. Sometimes just having someone beside you when you're afraid is enough. Having someone beside you? <laughs> Pish posh. I need no one. Thinking back on all the times I felt scared. Mother always told me to hide my fear and to never cry because it made me appear weak. I could never ask for her help and the cake was never there for me. Every time I was afraid, I was always alone. I shake off the memories and realize that Walt is asking me a question. What did you think of the show? It was short and simple. <laughs> That's it. 
<laughs> I love her! Round of applause! Round of applause! I created that entire show, show you know? Story, characters, everything. It could have been better. <laughs> you loved me. Yes, I do. I have nothing more to say, and Walt seems disheartened by my silence. You always complicate my stories, even when they were silly. Walt's telling me stories? I do not recall such a thing. He makes it sound as if we've known each other for a long time. Maybe we have. I'll keep an eye on him. Before I can ask him for clarification, he changes the topic. Do you mind accompanying me to the toy shop before we head back? Do I have a choice? Walt's lips quick, quirk with a smile as he picks up his materials. You might have fun, princess. Come on. Fine, I'll go. This is the shop I went to before I was cursed. Wow. Feel free to look around, princess. I won't be too long. I nod at him before walking over to the doll display. The dolls here are actually beautiful. But with the gold I have left, I won't be able to afford even one. I miss my doll. Aww. Papa, I want that one. The sound of a little girl's voice draws my attention. I look around the store before spotting the little girl pointed at a big teddy bear. She looks expectantly at the man beside her. That must be her father. The man shakes his head, her, his eyes filled with regret. We can't afford that one, dear. Could you choose something else? The girl looks like she's on the verge of bawling. I back away, fearing that the child might throw a tantrum. Instead, she rubs her eyes before, looking up at her father with a slow smile. I understand. The man smiles and pats her head. Thank you for understanding, sweetheart. You're being so grown up. I only need you and Mama to be happy. Oh, how adorable. Uh, step away from the adorableness. Step away. I love you, Papa. I love you, too. Step away from the adorableness. It's, it's, it's intoxicating. Step away. The cake has never once told me that he loved me. He must be better off without me. Do I even belong at the palace anymore? Papa, look, the king! Oh, hide! Hide, girl! The moment I heard hear her say his title, I quickly rushed from the toy shop. Hide! Hail the king! No, you should have hide, girl. You should have hid. Long live the king! Hail King Gennaro, because he's so generic. Just saying. It took me a while to figure that one out, to be honest. He is the first one I see mounted on his favorite white stallion as he waves at everyone. I spot Ophelia, Rod, and Emma with him, mimicking his motions. The king used to invite me to join him before, but I always declined. He always went out alone. Once a month, the king sets out to check on the conditions of the kingdom in person. It is his way of bonding with the townsfolk. The Order of Corderia, Calderia trails behind the royal family, with Sir Alcazar at the head. But there is one particular person that is missing. That is strange that Fritz, Fritz is in here. Oh, it's Fritz. I thought it. Fritz. <clears throat> the parade is an impressive sight. The crowds lining the streets become denser with each passing second. I weave round the mass of people in an attempt to get closer to the king. Thank you, everyone. He is smiling. A true smile. I have never seen him smile like that for me. Girl, you need to back away. A heaviness begins to weight off my, down my heart. Suddenly, it becomes harder to breathe. Please look this way. Please look at me. The king is looking happier these days, isn't he? I don't think I've ever seen him so joyful. Oh, it must be his family. Happier? All I want is for the king to look at me, to see me. But he does not so much as glance my way once. I stare at the ground with bleary eyes. He's happy without me. <sighs> How 
dare he? I returned to the toy shop with a heavy heart. The little girl from earlier is standing with her father by the door. He ruffles her head before holding his hand out to her with a smile. She takes it with a giggle and the two walk off together. A hot ache sings through my blood as I watch them leave. Is this jealousy? I think it is, girl. I reach up and clutch my chest. My heartbeats feel painful. This is a terrible feeling. Princess? What do you want? Lucette? What? I stare at Walt, temporarily stunned by the fact that he called me by my name and not my title. Are you okay? Despite myself, I feel my eyes drawn back to the little girl and her father as they just stand outside the door to the toy shop. Princess? <laughs> do, what do I say? Do I say that I'm fine or that I'm... She, she needs someone to lean on, though. She does need someone to lean... Okay, let's say I'm not okay. Let's, let's say I'm not okay. I want to see what happens. It's not like there is anything you could do to make me feel better. Walt's expression slips. His chest heaves with a silent sigh. All I could do right now is try. Walt's voice is a soft whisper, but I still pick up his words. All he could do right now? What is he even talking about? Walt's gaze moves to the set of teddy bears displayed on one of the shelves. He is quiet for a few months before he speaks. He is affected by the curse. What? The king! He can't remember you because of the curse. That doesn't mean he never cared about you. That's the reason you looked so down, right? I was looking outside. I saw the way you looked at him. Does he even know it's rude to stare? Oh, and how did I look? Hurt? I turned away before Walt could see the frustration on my face. He loves you, you know? More than you'll ever know. And how would you know that? You don't know him at all. Everyone has their own ways of expressing their love. I'm sure he has his own ways. By not being there when I needed him, he has never acted like a father to me. Princess, don't pretend to know what my life at the palace was like, Waltz. This conversation is over. I have returned to the Martian. She's angry. <laughs> you should leave her alone. Let her cool off her, her, her uh, steam. Oh, look at her. Look at her. Look at what you drew! Look at what I drew! Oh, how adorable! Lucette, you know you're not meant to be in here. But I drew this picture of us. See, this is uh, that is Mother and me. And you are holding Mother's hand. Go play somewhere else, Lucette. I'm busy. But you're always busy, Father. I just want to go to your mother. I'm sure she is looking for you. Oh, okay. Rejection! Oh, rejection! We're gonna save it, yes, please. See you all next time.